Well, there's this long-standing myth that uh, athletes, as they grow older, might in fact be at risk to develop heart disease, but it turns out that this is really not true. Um, they're just like you and I. It sort of depends on whether they have other risk factors or not. Certainly some great athletes have died young of heart disease. That uh, can happen, but that can happen to non-athletes as well. So all of the working out and all the strenuous activity that they do does not necessarily put their heart at risk as they grow older, contrary to what people thought many years ago. Um, athletes uh, can be at risk to some extent, though, if they continue to uh, bulk up and be heavy, uh, and then they might develop hypertension, for example. So um, I think most of them take care uh, once they leave their athleticism, if you will, to watch their weight carefully, make sure their risk factors are under control. But being an athlete, even a professional athlete or an elite athlete, does not necessarily put you at risk for the development of heart disease or heart failure in later years. Well, the athletic heart syndrome is the term that uh, we may have referred to earlier about um, if you're an athlete, let's just say uh, your husband or your brother or maybe your sister or one of your kids is a runner and they're serious runners and maybe they run 10 or 15 miles a day or maybe more. Uh, the concern is that could this have some sort of a lasting detrimental effect? Uh, it's a tricky question. In the big picture and in the long run, probably not. I think most runners are healthy. Uh, everyone knows the story of Jim Fix, who wrote the book about running and then died during a run. So that sticks in people's minds. And yes, uh, normal healthy people can die while running and doing other exercises. So there's always this concern is, might it be bad? Uh, I think in general, probably not. Uh, when you consider the millions of people who run every day, rain or shine. Um, but. Um, there are certain things that we've noticed over the years. Runners, as they get older, have a higher incidence or new onset of atrial fibrillation, which is an, a rhythm disturbance of the heart. It's a common rhythm disturbance. Normal people have it too, so we can't always just blame it on running or athleticism. But if you carefully look at populations, they are at greater risk to develop atrial fibrillation. Not necessarily a life-threatening problem, but one that would require probably some intervention or at least a visit to a cardiologist. The university uh, is trying to forge a closer relationship to the uh, athletic department with regard to the athletes uh, here. Um, as you know, we have a relatively new uh, football coach and a, a new basketball coach. And I've worked here with uh, Dr. Suzanne Hecht, who is one of the team doctors. They have many team doctors because um, as you might expect, sometimes these kids, I call them kids, but they're men and women, um, but they're elite athletes. I mean, to play at the university, whether it's hockey or football or basketball, you have to be more than just a good athlete. But they uh, sometimes will develop problems on the practice field. They'll have chest pain. They might uh, feel like they're gonna faint or they might pass out, or they might uh, feel like for some reason they can't get enough air. Uh, what we've tried to do is to get these young people over to us straight away, which has in the past been difficult. I mean, if you call up and ask for a cardiology appointment the same day, uh, you could probably get it, but it's not so easy because <clears throat> people are busy. On the other hand, uh, we've tried to bend over backwards to help the athletes because what happens is the team doctors have to hold them out. Uh, and sometimes that means an important game or something until they're cleared by the physicians. So we have kind of an open door policy. Uh, I see a lot of these kids myself and uh, often they come with their parents and they almost always come with a trainer. And uh, Suzanne Hecht, who is the official doctor and myself, usually discuss the case, what we're gonna do, and then I report back to her and let her know what they found. Then she makes the final decision as to whether they can suit up or not. So um, the University of Minnesota has a special interest in this and we want to develop a program. As I mentioned, uh, it's not unusual for athletes to have rhythm disturbances of the heart. Often they're benign, but they could be, 
they could be potentially serious. And so the electrophysiology group here is interested in this as well. And Dr. Scott Sakaguchi and I have talked about trying to uh, really develop a full program where we can uh, allow access to, to us, the cardiologist, at a sort of a drop of the hat for these sort of uh, special students who need clearance uh, right away. Thank you.